all right people welcome back to the channel so i'll be getting comment like this and that and that so most of you are complaining about the watch list or the derivative trading view so if you use the derivative trading view or you trade synthetic indices and you use derivative trading view watch at the end i'm going to show you guys how to set up the trading view and how to set up watch list on the trading view so that it doesn't disappear like the way you guys are complaining about it let's get started all right guys so this is derivative trading view and for those of us that don't know how to find it you can find it by typing chart.derive.com you can see the link boldly on my screen so when you hop on the trading view this is the first thing that comes this is the home page of the trading view this is the default page of the trading view it brings you to 24 hours chart of validity 25 index this is what you see first when you hop on the chart and it's going to be red and black like so this is the default so for those of us complaining about the disappearance of your watch list derive have removed that very watch list features from a trading view so it is not only on your end it is also on my end and any, any other person that uses this trading view they remove the watch list section i don't know why because it was actually helping us and we were loving it but i don't know why they chose to remove it but i think it's this way we can't do nothing for now but then there's an alternative to save your watch list okay and that's what i'm going to show to us now so we already understand that um, you have to put your own layout and save your own layout and let's you know edit the, the candlestick how you want it the background all of that so for those of you that don't understand this one you can look through my channel i have a video for all of that so for here you have to those of us that use the, the the trading view already you have to come here and then go to your layout which you already have and for those of us that don't have a layout already you can just click to save layout it will tell you what you want to save this layout the layout is all about changing all these things the layout is the whole interface how the chart color looks and the grid you see at the background if you want to remove it if you want to change the color of it if you want to change how your trend line looks like and see my own trend line is white so it's not even visible on, on this very very on this very layout because my own layout is black the layout is a dark one so if you have done all of these things chosen your trading tools and all of that and then setting colors for them that is suit your preference then you can just click on save and then to you know actually to put a name for the layout you can name it whatever you want and you click on save so that when you come here to this drop down this manage layout when you click it and then you click on open layout what you have saved will be there the layout you have saved for yourself will be there so this is my own layout i name the highest and if i want to click it you're going to see that it's going to bring my own setup that i've set for myself so i have a dark chart and all of my tools are colored enough to be visible on the chart or the dark background but those of us are already used to it and complain about our watch list you can see once again that the watch list is it's not there for anyone that's appeared so since we don't have it the only thing the only option we have now and the only alternative to that is having the layout and then analyzing all of the indexes that you want to trade before clicking the save this is it practically so here i'm currently on vix 101 is index right Sorry, the vix 100 index okay and let's just say we want to analyze whatever we see they just want to put our drawings on it we have breaker structure here we're looking to short from that level at the top price pull up like so so this is my analysis for vix 100 index instead of going to click here so that i can save i won't do that and since i don't have it on my watch list what i have to do now since i have let's say i'm going to analyze two more things for my watch list all i have to do is to type if it's uh all i have to do is to type the index i want to analyze and then it will pop up so if i want to analyze the volatility and i don't have to click v it will bring all the volatility index and i just have to click which one i want once you click it you just have to do the same thing analyze whatever or however you want it to look like or whatever you are seeing based on your technicals i have a break here and then probably i'll be looking for sell around sorry for buy around the, the extreme level here okay so this is what i have for 10 index 10 one s index okay this is what i have for that and then like so let's say you want to also analyze boom you just have to click b and then it will bring all of the things related to b let's say boom 500 and let's say i have something like so other flow here and then price broke and i have break of structure here so this is all i wanted to analyze or this is all i have on my watch list i want to analyze now i'm done with analyzing all of the things that are on my watch list all i have to do is just to click save one time now once i refresh this thing and come back you see that all of the indexes that i've analyze are still there my analysis are not no my, my analysis won't disappear from each and every index even if my layout under it you can see it's just boom 500 it is boom 500 because if i click it that is going to be the first thing to come out but all of the analysis i've made on these other indices will come out will, will be safe and it will come out so i analyze we extend one s index as well once we open it you can see our analysis is still there right they are still there also analyze vix 100 index which was the first one i click on it you see that it is also still there it's also having analysis so right now i think it's just a little bit of an extra work for us to always remember the indices on our watch list. instead of just coming here and be able to see them like it was what what is there right now is that you have to pick them from the symbol the symbol search or you just have to type with your keyboard this is v for volatility or anything related to v, to v. if it is b for the boom it will c for the crash if it is R for the range break and people trading synthetic, in, uh, sorry, step indices and all of that. So this is how to save your chart and create 
watch this on the recreating view right now all right guys thanks for watching i hope that was helpful if you have any other question or anything you want me to tackle please don't forget to leave it in the comment down below thanks for watching and stay high